Welcome to this overview of the Eris connector for NX. We are going to show the process of revising a previously released CAD design due to a redesigned engineering change order or ECO. The CAD user is notified that he needs to make a change to the CAD model by an Eris Innovator workflow task, which is shown here in his in-basket, and which can also be sent through email. Now we open the ECO for the revision change in the Eris web client. It consists of a part and two CAD documents, one for the 3D model and one for the drawing. They are all moving from Rev A to Rev B. In order to make the change, we start up our CAD tool NX. We go to the Eris menu, which is added due to the CAD connector, and pick the search command. The first time we access an Eris command, we must log in when prompted. The CAD connector brings up a search dialog, which we can use to locate the desired model. We enter search parameters in the top search region and click search. This returns some results from Eris. We right click on the drawing and pick checkout. We pick desired checkout options and then click checkout here. The system then goes off to locate all related components for the model and returns with a checkout summary. We can look through the summary to verify successful completion of all downloaded files. We now have our model loaded in session. Since we want to work on the assembly, we make it the displayed part. Now we are going to make changes to the assembly as required by the redesign effort. So we reserve the edit rights to the corresponding item in Eris by using the lock function. Now we use standard NX functionality to replace a component. Both instances of the valve cover will be replaced by a new component which is selected from local disk. If we pull up the drawing for the assembly, we see that the new valve cover is shown in the parts list, but with an unofficial name. Now we use the Eris save command to save the updated assembly back into PLM. The save dialog shows only the modifications that need to be saved into PLM. At the top we see the modified assembly and drawing, and below that the new valve cover which has not yet been registered in PLM. We can click on the register button to register this new component in PLM, which is a one-time operation per CAD file. Official part numbers are automatically assigned. We can set custom save options, in this case, to tell the system to automatically unlock or unreserve the items after saving. After the save is complete, we see the check-in results. If we now look at the parts list on the drawing, we see the new valve cover has its official number assigned. By picking the Show Details function, we can bring up the details form from Eris to show what has been saved to PLM. Here we see the form for the drawing. From the Structure tab of the drawing, we can open the details form of the assembly. On this form, we can see the native file and the related part item. By opening the structure browser, we can see the full multi-level structure of the assembly. We can then compare it to the structure from revision A. By turning on the highlight option, we can see the changes made due to the CAD model update, highlighted here in blue. Now we pick the Update BOM function to update the part BOM to match the CAD structure. 
This function can be run interactively as shown here or automatically as part of the save process. Once this is completed successfully, if we refresh the CAD document form, we'll see that a link has been established to the latest part version as indicated by the link icon. By clicking on the part hyperlink, we can bring up the form for the part item. We can see the new BOM which we just updated. If we enable the redline function in the BOM, we can easily see the updates made from Rev A to Rev B, highlighted in red. Now let's close our active assembly and take a look at the local workspace management capabilities. Within the search dialog, we can switch to the search local tab to view files stored locally under the control of the connector. Both Windows file information and PLM property information is shown here, including the model type. Note that some of these are instances of part families. If we click on any file such as this assembly, we can pick open in session to open from local disk rather than retrieving from PLM each time. Here we see the part family members that were in the local file listing. So to recap, as part of an enterprise change process, we were able to open the existing design from ARIS into CAD, make changes to the model, which included replacing an existing part with a new part, have that new part automatically renamed to match company standards, then save the design back to ARIS and automatically update the part bill of materials. We can compare our CAD and part bomb changes before and after and work with files in the local workspace under the control of PLM. To learn more about all ARIS CAD connectors, visit ARIS.com.